From LA Late News Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Mornings, LA Late. From LA Late News Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Mornings, LA Late. Good morning, everyone. The toast is toast and the butter is buttering. I'm here, you're here, and your $1,400 third stimulus check could be here next week. In this video, you're going to find out why and why there's incredible great news about your $1,400 third stimulus check. It's a series of messages obtained by Allied overnight. These are messages between the Social Security Administrator and also Treasury. All the incredible great news, as one of the messages seems to suggest, the checks may already be on the way. This is a continuation of Morning's Ally. Hey, good morning. How are you? Yeah, the toast is toast and the butter is buttering. And the video before this, when I was live on you, I lost the, the connection for some reason. So that video in its full form, because it was recorded as well, will be uploaded and is available for you to watch. It'll be coming up, up later today on the Midday Report. It's a full 30-minute video. And sorry about the video right before it. It cut off at about seven minutes. The breaking news, if you're just joining me this morning, is that 30 million checks may be in the mail or in direct deposit. What's going on and how do we know when they're landing and where they're landing? Yes, this is SSI and SSDI, Social Security and Rural Benefits and Veterans Benefits. Let me go over all the breaking developments. In a series of messages obtained by LA today, there is new indication that perhaps the payments have already been sent out. This is how Broadcast News is reporting it this morning. 30 million people may present tense, receive $14 stimulus checks after Social Security Administration provides payment information to IRS. That is the current title from one of the broadcast news. But another uh, series of messages came out, and those messages included this one. For federal beneficiaries who did not file a 2019 or 2020 tax return, or did not use the non-file filing tool, IRS is working with the, social, with the SSA and the RB to ensure that they have updated 2020 information. Now, this is a little peculiar, not to say the least, <laughs> because in 2020, they said you don't have to use the non-file filing tool. Let's recap. In 2020, People on benefits, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, railroad benefits, and veterans were specifically told not to use the non-file filing tool if they had been on benefits for a while. In fact, the tool had it on there. Don't use it. They said only two types of people should use the tool, the non-file filing tool. If you have a child and you want to ensure that child gets a stimulus check and, they don't, and you don't file tax returns, or two, you just went on benefits that year. So what's going on here? At the same time, the Veterans Administrations in 2020 issued a statement that said, veterans don't have to worry about anything. We have your information on file. You don't have to do that non-file filing tool. So this first message was a little peculiar when it hit. Let me jump into the live chat with you right now because this is the interactive video. And let me ask who used uh, use the word used, U-S-E-D, or not used. Did you use the non-filer filing tool in 2020, or did you not use the non-filer filing tool in 2020? And if you file tax returns, include use, because that's sort of part of the universe. Because this first message is trying to make it sound like the issue at hand were people who used the filing tool and didn't use the filing tool. Uh, didn't use to someone, used to someone else. Did you use the filing tool, the non-file filing tool in 2020, or did you not? Used, says loan. No, says tabs. Not used. No. Used. Not used. Used. Not used. Did not use. Did not use. Did not use. Not used. So very interesting. 
um, a lot of people did not use the tool because you were told not to use the tool. So this is sort of what's happening. And then we had the second message, and this came yesterday. Social Security employees have literally worked day and night with IRS staff to ensure the electronic files of Social Security and SSI recipients are complete, accurate, and to be used to issue payments. That was by Commissioner Andrew Saul. Who is Andrew Saul? This is Commissioner Andrew Saul. He sent that message out on Thursday. Well, early in the week, the controversy grew when Representative Bill Prashel, Democrat from New Jersey, tweeted the following. We're demanding immediate answers from IRS and Social Security. Why are they taking, why are they taking so long to send out stimulus payments to so many Social Security, SSI, and VA recipients? The money needs to go out now. And that's where we were going into late yesterday. If you didn't watch LLA yesterday, let me tell you what the update was late yesterday. At 8.30 a.m. Pacific, at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time Thursday, they did deliver the data to Treasury. Social Security at 8.30 a.m. yesterday on the East Coast did del deliver the data to Social Security. So data for 30 million Americans on benefits was delivered by, uh, by the commissioner to Treasury yesterday. And then came this incredible great news. Let's read this together. This is what Commissioner Saul said in a message late yesterday this morning. Once we were free to move forward, we aggressively worked with Treasury and IRS to issue payments. Let's read that slowly. Once we were, past tense, free to move forward, we aggressively worked, past tense, with Treasury to issue payments, past tense. Wow, that sentence has three past tense verbs. Does it sound like he issued payments already? We were able to issue payments. What do you think? Do you think the sentence sounds like he's ish like the payments have been issued? I think it sounds like he has that like the payments have been issued. Now remember, Commissioner Saul doesn't send you the payments. It's Treasury that sends the payments, but he's saying it's been sent. This is great news. What's my thought? My thought is the first wave started and ended. The second wave started and ended. And the third wave is going to have to start because now there is a call for 30 million in a, of checks in a third wave. So when would the third wave start? Here's my guess. My guess is that it's very likely that the third wave may have started today, but we won't know until Monday. Why? We won't know if there is a third wave of 30 million checks to beneficiaries until this coming Monday because the first wave was sent out on a Friday and landed the following Wednesday on St. Patrick's Day, March 17th. The second wave went out last Friday and landed this Wednesday, March 24th. So if there is a third wave, it, and it does go out today, you would find out about it this coming Monday. Last week, the second wave went out on a Friday, and, so, and Treasury Yellen told us the following Monday, a wave had gone out, the second wave, the prior Friday. So if a wave goes out today, you would likely get a statement from Treasury this coming Monday that it's happened. So is there a way for us to know as a family whether there's a wave that goes out before this coming Monday? Yes. More about that in a second. But let me jump into the live chat right now and let me ask you. Do you think the live do you do you think the third wave will go out today to land next Monday? Yes or no? Do you think the third wave will go out today to land next Monday? Donald says 
I don't trust them. <laughs> do you think a third wave, yes or no, do you think the third wave would start today to land this coming Wednesday? No, I'm saying for next Wednesday. No, yes, 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 no, yes, no, yes, 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 no. So it's about 70% yes, 30% no. So let's recap. All the waves have gone out on Fridays to land on Mon uh, to land in accounts on Wednesdays. They've gone out on Fridays to land on Wednesdays. The first one went out two weeks ago today to land the following Wednesday. The second one went out last Friday to land this Wednesday. If there was a third wave, would it go out today to land the following Wednesday? Well, if there is a wave that goes out today, Treasury would likely tell us this coming Monday. But is there a way that we as a family would know before that? Absolutely. And how would we know before that? I have all those details for you, but stay with me. I'll have those details coming up right after this commercial break. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues on Allied in just a few minutes. Right after this recording is a taped recording that will go over more in detail what happens. And it will mirror the, a prior recording, to, a prior live feed earlier today that got cut off. It's a 30-minute recording that has a lot of breaking developments about the $14 stimulus check and Treasury and also SSA. Thank you for joining me. If you've not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. You don't want to miss a single minute of what's happening today. Also, like this video. Let's see if we can do 3,000 likes. And if you've not become a member, consider becoming a member. Let me give you the big recap. Treasury and Social Security have been talking. And in a new message obtained by L8, Social Security's administrator talks in past tense to suggest that the stimulus has already gone out. Here is the message. Once we are free to move forward, we aggressively worked with Treasury and IRS to issue payments. That's all past tense. That's actually three past tense verbs in one sentence. So by all indications, the payments are already out. When are you going to get the payments? And who's going to get the payments? And where will you be able to track them? This is what you need to know. One, there is going to be a third wave. We already know that. There's 30 million checks at issue, at least. More about that in a second. And they need to send them out. Now, the question is, when is the third wave? It's not a question of wh whether there is or isn't. The question is, when? Well, if the third wave went out today, it would mirror the second wave and the first wave that both went out on Fridays. And both the waves were updated with an official statement the following Monday. So you would get an official statement this coming Monday if the wave did go out today. What would the wave be for? The wave would be for direct deposit and also mail checks. If it was for direct deposit, what day would you get the stimulus checks by direct deposit? It would be this coming Wednesday. All the direct deposit waves have landed on Wednesdays. Friday was sent out to land on Wednesday, St. Patrick's Day, March 17th. 
Friday, last Friday, sent out to land for the second wave this last Wednesday, March 24th. So if it's another wave, it would be sent out maybe today to land next Wednesday, Wednesday by direct deposit. We don't know. We don't know yet. And we don't have the official statement. And until we have the official statement, we don't know. When would that official statement likely come? This coming Monday if the wave went out today. But there's a twist. <laughs> How would we as viewers possibly learn before that? We would possibly learn tomorrow. Why? A week ago last Saturday, viewers went into Saturday and myself thinking it was going to be a boring day and it was absolutely rocks on fire. People were going to the irs.gov tool last Saturday and it went from no information for them to information. Or from March 17th, which they get a stimulus check to, to suddenly incredible information about a new date. What did we see last Saturday? One, one viewer heard from Bank Amer from Chase that there was going to be a big drop this Wednesday, March 24th. Another viewer heard from Wells Fargo there was going to be a drop March 24th. Another a series of viewers got alerts from Direct Express that there was going to be a, a drop on March 24th. They got those alerts last Saturday. Then irs.gov updated itself to suddenly last Saturday show that deposits were happening March 24th, not the 17th. And then they were also posting 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31 mail checks. What does that mean, that mail and that date? And which one could you get, mail or direct deposit? By all likely indication, you would likely get the direct deposit first because this is the easiest path for them to get the direct deposits. Understand the situation at hand. The, the situation at hand is a national news story, front page news story now, is that 30 million haven't gotten their stimulus checks. That 30 million have their direct deposit information on file and that 30 million need their stimulus checks right now. Do you think they're going to put them in the mail? I don't think it would look good if they put them in the mail and you'd have to wait even longer. Now, we've seen crazier things. But if you go to that irs.gov tool and it shows a date and it shows mail, then guess what? That's not the date it's being mailed out and it's not the day you're receiving it. It's actually the date of the check in the corner. So if you go to that check in the corner and it says March 31st, that's what the IRS tool is going to show. So what day are you going to get a check that's written in the corner, March 31st? One to two days ahead of time. Generally, the 28th, 29th, 30th, the 31st. You would likely get it two days ahead of time up to the day in which the check was issued. That's how you use the tool. Now, while the, video, the commercial ran before, I saw a lot of unusual comments. Let me tell you where we are right now. When situations like this happen, a lot of urban legends, a lot of bad, untrue gossip circulates. I saw one viewer said, my bank says I won't get direct deposit for a few weeks. That type of sentence is totally untrue sentence because that is basically saying the bank can predict when Treasury is sending out your stimulus check. It's a totally untrue sentence. So any bank that says to you, you're going to get direct deposit of your stimulus check in a few weeks, that's just an untrue sentence because they don't know that. The, the transaction is a transaction. And if the transaction started today, you're getting it next week. If the transaction didn't start, then you're not getting anything. There's no transaction three weeks in the future that someone can predict. So when banks, when any, when any person says to you, you're getting it in, in direct deposit a few weeks, it's an untrue sentence. Moreover, um, if someone says to you something that, well, it's coming in the mail, five to six, eight weeks from now. No one has said that. The only guidance we have now is Treasury and SSA. They are the guidance that we look to for learning the situation. And they're updating around the clock. Let me jump into your live chat right now. And let me see what's going on. i just like to know the date when we can get it, uh, says Michael. Yeah, millions of Americans would like that date. 30 million Americans would like that date. And 30 million Americans don't have that date. Um, I've been getting SSI for 13 years with direct deposit, and there's no excuse for this problem, says Gloria. That's a very well-said sentence. 
I love that sentence from Gloria because there absolutely is no excuse for this problem. They send you a direct deposit every month. They know where you are. And this contention that they don't know where someone is, you know, that's a whole video unto itself. Um, Tom Jones on SSDI. IRS says mail 26. Wife who is not on SSI says, says 26. So um, if it says mail 26, Tom Jones, then that means it's coming by the 26, meaning it's coming today. So you would likely see that stimulus check show up today. Does anyone have any update? If you, if you have an update to your IRS tool, drop in the comment now so I see whether anyone has any updates to their IRS tool. This will help us get guidance as to where things are changing. What did the IRS tool, Beth, what is the IRS tool says, check the 26 and I still don't have anything. So Beth has a great question. What if the tool says a date and the date happens and you don't get it? So Beth is a great situation. If you have that IRS tool and you get a date and that date passes and you don't have the stimulus check, that's actually a good circumstance. Let me tell you why. Because nine out of 10 viewers who had a date before, the date gets updated by IRS, and then you get it. So while no one wants to say, you know, getting a check on March 26th and it doesn't come is a, is, a, is a good situation, at least you know that they will be updating your file. So basically what's going to happen is I had viewers who had March 17th direct deposit, and then direct deposit did not happen on March 17th. Well, then one or two days later, it updated itself and said March 24th, and they got it March 24th. So if your mail says March 26th, and you don't get it by March 26th by mail, then um, you watch that tool, because it may re-update itself and say something like March 31st, right in the next day or two. Great question. Let me answer some more of your questions right now. Uh, Kam a Kamora. I use the IRS tool and it says unavailable. So yes, if the tool shows unavailable, give it to tomorrow and look again. It may have information there. Veronica, no information again from the tool. Uh, Keith, mine says mailed out on the 26th. Um, do we have a lot of viewers in the chat that have the 26th mail and don't have it? Let me see, because we've seen three people already. Um, if if you were if you got an alert that there was supposed to be a mail check from the tool and you got nothing, then um, then say mail yes. If you if you had a, an alert that mail was coming and you did not get it, say mail yes because I think I see at least five people right now. Marie next week, yes here says Shannon. Yes says Sandra. Yes, is Melissa. Yes, is Paul. Yes, is Aaron. Yes, is another Paul. Um, yes, says uh, Stormy. Yes, is Bradley. Wow. Wow, this is a lot of people. Yes, is Donald. Yes, is Larry. Yes, is Crumb fam Family Values. Yes, says um, Richard. Wow. So we have a lot of people who have that mail date and have yet to receive it. Mail uh, the 26th for Sonia. Wow, so we're learning something very big in this video that a lot of people who did get results got a mail date and did not get it. Um, mail yes is Marie. Uh, Mar uh, Vaughn, same thing. So, wow, as we're sitting here right now, we're seeing that the contention that they are getting sent out is a little problematic. <laughs> Let me recap where we are. Social Security and Treasury claim that 30 million of you have not got your stimulus checks to go out, and that was because of some miscommunication. What was the cause of it? They say the checks are now going out. The question is, why did the IRS tool say that they already went out 
and so many viewers in this chat. I'm shocked. I think it was about 60% of the viewers of this chat, 50% of the viewers of this chat had a March 26 date. Because remember, that was a big date. I told you that date last Saturday. A lot of viewers last Saturday got that March 26 mail check date. And now we see that a lot did not get the stimulus check on March 26. What's going on? This makes the situation even more confusing. Now, here again is my good message, as I said, I think it was to Beth um, early in the video, which is if you show a March 26 mail date, I like that for you. I like that better than no information. Why? Because they can update that. They can change that date. If they show March 26, that means they know you, they know where you are, they have the data about you, and that there's something incorrect with their database that's showing March 26 when it's really not March 26. The question is, what day is it? Um, the big update may happen tomorrow. I got to tell you, I've had thousands of viewers who had a date in the IRS tool and then it got changed. So the fact that 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 so many of you have an incorrect date is actually perhaps indication that maybe tomorrow might be the big date where all those dates are changed. Uh, boy. <laughs> We learned something by the second. Let me jump back into the live chat right now. Still getting no information. Do you think it will, uh, Jacinto, do you think it will come in the mail or on a debit card or will it be direct deposited? Um, you know, I... <laughs> Treasury had its advice about that situation early in the week and said a large amount of you would get it by mail, even if you had set up, a, even if you got the first or second by direct deposit. You know, it, it, it's just an opinion. I have no facts to report to you about it. All I can tell you is on Monday, this Monday, Treasury said those that received the first and second stimulus check by direct deposit, a large amount of you will get it in the mail. Um, I had been reporting all week long that the last time I asked this question um, last Saturday, about 50% of the viewers said, I got alerts it's coming in the mail. So I said large, maybe upwards of 50% of you ex would get in the mail, not by direct deposit. Now in this chat, I see a lot of you have not gotten it because it did not come in the mail. That in fact, you had an alert that it's supposed to come in the mail or not, and it's not coming in the mail. It's making the situation very, very strange at this point. Here's why it's so strange. One, we have that statement from Treasury saying we don't know uh, that we had hoped that people had fought, had used that non-filer filing tool but didn't, so we didn't know much about you. Well, they knew enough about you to put you in the tool, the IRS tool, and list a March 26 date. And I told you the Representative Neil letter I always had problems with. I didn't really buy the reason why the checks have been gone out. His claim is they don't know where you are. Well, the, the IRS tool is showing a lot of people for a stimulus check from March 26, so the IRS tool knows where you are. Um, so his contention they don't know where you are is not the situation. There, which goes back to what I've said before. I personally don't agree with the Neil letter. I think his explanation why I haven't got a stimulus check, I don't agree with. I agree there's a problem. You haven't got a stimulus check. I agree it's at least 30 million people. But why you haven't got a stimulus check, I don't believe it's, I don't believe he understands really, really the problem at hand. Um, and now you see that we have viewers who are simply already in the system, have been in the system far before his letter, and it says you're going to check and they don't actually get it. It's an execution problem. It's not an identification problem. They have, identif they have identified you. They know you're there. As the one viewer said, I've been on SSI for 13 years. They send me a check every month. Why would they suddenly not know where I am? It, you know, the identification issue of Neil, I've never bought that. I never bought it, and some viewers call it excuse. What I have a problem with is now the execution issue, which is now I see a lot of people have a date, and there's no execution on that date. Let me um, jump into the chat right now and see what people are saying. I have a feeling you're going to say as well that the Neil letter is an excuse. It doesn't really detail why why it's happening. Uh, <laughs> blame it on someone else is a sick. Um, I'm on SSI. I haven't got to mine, says Roy. No information on the tool, says Cinda. Uh, Lizette. 
IRS tool says we've we have scheduled a stimulus to be mailed on March 26. So I believe it's being sent out today. Well, that's very interesting. So do <laughs> as if this couldn't get any crazier. Is the tool now using different sentence phrasing? <laughs> Goodness. Before, when the tool said March 31st, it meant that the date in the check is March 31st. But one person now quoted the IRS tool saying it's actually being mailed out March 26th. Can I grab that again? Oh, good. I don't think I could grab that again. I have never seen that language before. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to stay with how it's always been, that it's not mailed out the 26th, that the effective date of the check is the 26th. Um, but as I've always said, if the effective date of the 26th is, you would get it by the 26th. Well, guess what? Today's the 26th, uh, and viewers have not gotten it. The question is whether a lot of you are going to get the stimulus check by the end of the day, or whether it's going to come tomorrow. Um, it, 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 it is getting very messy. It's getting very messy. Um, understand this, and now I see a lot of people talking about that March 26. Mine says the 26. This is what <laughs> March 26 meant before that prior comment. March 26 before this prior comment meant you would get it by March 24th, 25th, or 26th with an effective day in the corner of the 26th. Now, you know, maybe there's some mail problem that it's late a day, maybe... The 26th check is coming on the 27th. But um, I told you last Saturday, I had a lot of viewers with a 26th check date. So this is getting really interesting. <laughs> I, it's, it's hard with these videos because the videos, you know, yesterday were all about direct deposit. And now I hear a lot of people saying, wait a second, now it says not direct deposit. Now it says it's, it's 26. Let me ask right now. For the viewers that show 26 mail, is this a new change to the tool for you? Because I did not hear this many people for mail 26 since last Saturday. I was hearing a lot of people expecting direct deposit up to up to the time of this recording. Did people just suddenly get a change of the tool to now say um, it's coming the t that the tool is getting changed, um, or is this something happening? Payment status still not available. I put it on Treasury. They have it all over their hands, says Sharon. Husband said 26, nothing yet, says Cindy. When did this 26 start appearing for viewers, this channel? Did it just start appearing? Last Saturday um, said 23rd. Now it says 26. Oh, wow. So Takon, Takona said it first said 23rd. Now it says 26. That's very helpful. Mine changed, says Taconda. Did anyone's uh, uh, IRS tool change on the dates? Since last Sunday. I saw it on, my, on Monday. Well, there you go. It's, at, at this point, let me give you the big recap where we are. And I saw someone's comments, um, I didn't file tax returns, am I getting a stimulus check? Of course you get a stimulus check. That's not the issue. Who's getting a stimulus check? Um, stimulus check is coming to millions of Americans who have not gotten a stimulus check. The question is, how big is the pool? The front page news article right now is basically saying the 30 million people on Social Security, SSI, SSDI, railroad benefits, and veterans benefits who did not get a stimulus check are getting a stimulus check now because 30 million of them there was an issue. Whatever whatever was the issue, we will leave it at that. There was an issue. And that those 30 million of people are getting stimulus checks. The letter obtained by this channel suggests that the checks have already been sent out because it's all past tense. Commissioner Saul says, once we are free to move forward, we aggressively worked with Treasury and IRS to issue payments. Well, that's the 30 million. That's great news. Now, the, 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 this channel has been reporting for several days. The pool of people who are impacted by a stimulus is far bigger than 30 million. It may be 40, maybe 50 million, because there's people not on benefits who haven't gotten their stimulus checks. 
So why haven't you gotten the stimulus checks? We don't know. And I don't think we should really play that guessing game because we may never know. But the real issue is when. When is the check coming? In this video, for some reason, we found out that a ton of people had March 26 as their effective date for their mailed check. Let's see if that check shows up today. Let's see if it shows up also tomorrow. Also in this video, almost 70% of the viewers said did not use the non-filer tool. So it, it's getting a little problematic. But here's the message. The second stimulus and the first stimulus were sent out on Fridays for direct deposit to land on Wednesday. They were also sent out on Friday, they were also sent out on Mondays for mail delivery. When the direct deposits were sent out on Friday, the announcement of it was made the following Monday. So if a third wave of direct deposits were sent out today, the announcement would be made this coming Monday. But viewers of this channel may learn of the announcement ahead of time by seeing the irs.gov tool change from whatever it says now to showing direct deposit this coming Monday. There's another video coming up after this, but stay with me because boy, we are far from over. If you've not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Also like this video. Stay informed, stay focused, and I'll be with you in just a, bit, a little bit and stay with LA for more. Yes.